Hi, Chuck Bartlett here, the sales coach. I recently was asked, how do I handle objections? And objections are, are, are interesting because they don't always mean no. I have a classic story that, that I like to tell in my programs that kind of shows that. It, it's happened to me twice in my career, one that went so very wrong, and the other one that that, that went so very right. Now, what took place that, that made this happen? What am I talking about? I'm talking about a few years back, I was in an interview with a large company, and I thought the interview was going well until they handed me the stapler and said, sell it to me. So here I am with this stapler on this person's desk, and I take the stapler and I start going into a presentation. Stapler's black. It's easy to use. It works really well. It keeps your papers together. And as I went through these features and benefits, the person on the other side of the desk said to me, what's your price? Well, I was just out of college. I thought it came with a desk. Price. So I gave this person my price, and they said, sorry, you're too expensive. At that point, I had nowhere else to go. It was over with. And Guess what? I didn't get the position. About 15 years later, as I am doing this sales coaching, I was challenged by a regional manager for a very large company that, that once again, presentation was going very well, and he slides across, once again, this stapler and says, sell it to me. So the lesson that I learned from that first one to this one was key because I didn't go into a presentation. We went into the role play and I asked, started asking questions. And the question that I asked was, did your assistant tell you what we were here for the appointment for? And uh, the regional manager said, yeah, absolutely. And I said, could you tell me what that is? And he said, um, that you sell staplers. And I said, absolutely. The regional manager had a stapler that he handed me. I said, is this your stapler? And he said, yeah, it is. And I said, that's great. And I took it and I worked it and I thought, wow, this is really classic. It's easy in the hand. It works really well. It, I'm sure it keeps your papers together. Uh, I have another question. And the regional said, well, what, what is it? And I said, you have a stapler and it works really well. Why did you want to see me? And the regional looked at me and now the pressure was on his side of the desk from him. Now in the next half hour of our conversation, what in that conversation do you need to hear from me so that we can have that visualization take place? And that's the stapler story. A lot of lessons were learned out of this. The first was that in the first go around, all I did was present and the objection became price. I led the buyer to that point. In the second go around, I decided to ask the questions. I, I worked off of what the buyer said. I took control over the whole sales conversation. And at that point, the regional in the second go around looked at me and said, yeah, I'll take it. And, and that's the stapler story.